This is Witchspace News for Friday the 15th of January 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Frontier are running a competition to get your name inside Odyssey at launch Win a deluxe alpha access version of Odyssey with the new pilots initiative and the AXI The speedrun record for reaching Beagle Point is smashed yet again and more. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit like and subscribe and if you'd like to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Frontier Developments announced in their regular Thursday livestream last night that they will be running a simple prize draw competition from today. Whilst the competition is very simple to enter the prize for winning is something truly stellar ...no pun intended. Should you be one of the lucky 5 winners of the draw your name will be on a location within Elite Dangerous Odyssey at launch. Yes really. For details on how to enter the competition see the link in the video description and if you're in any doubt as to how to spell your name should you win it's B U U R. That's two U's and an R. Thanks. Uh. What? <laughs> Whilst we're talking Frontier news <laughs> the community team also announced last night that we can expect new information drops in the form of developer answers every Friday from this point going forward. As you'll already have seen if you're subscribed to our channel we covered this weeks Odyssey info drop in a video linked on screen now. The info drop this week revolves around ground settlements and settlement gameplay and contains more than a couple of juicy nuggets of information so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Player organisations, the New Pilots Initiative and the Anti Xeno Initiative have teamed up to run a competition to gift two skilled commanders a free copy of the deluxe alpha version of Elite Dangerous Odyssey on PC. In order to be in with a chance you'll need to complete a series of tasks set by the two groups including gaining a tissue sample from a Thargoid and then also depriving that Thargoid of its heart all in the quickest possible time. For the full details on how to enter see the link in the description below. We reported last week that the prolific streamer Malik VR had beaten the speedrun time from Sol to Beagle Point and taken the crown from the previous holder of the title Dr Chives. What we weren't aware of at the time of recording was that Dr Chives had already enacted a plan to get the title back and oh my what a plan it was. You can read the full details on the Good Doctors forum post but suffice to say after having a full practice run the commander created an optimised route and then ran the whole journey again to record the record attempt. Suffice to say the attempt was successful but that really doesn't do it justice. Dr Chives didn't only beat the record and reclaim the title but managed to take the record from 5 hours 48 minutes and 9 seconds down to an amazing ...wait for it ...4 hours 18 minutes and 53 seconds. I can't honestly see how that can be broken with current in game technology but then again I couldn't imagine breaking Malik's record so what the hell do I know. If you're interested in how these two speedrun legends are achieving these staggering times for a journey that is 65,000 light years or fancy taking a run at it yourself then their stories are linked in the video description. Regular viewer will remember we reported a couple of weeks back about Operation LaForge the initiative to finish the levelling up of the engineers based in the Colonia region. I'm very pleased to report this week that the operation has been successfully completed and as a result the Colonia region now has further engineering recipes that cannot currently be obtained anywhere else in the galaxy. For the full details as well as some fascinating and frankly mad statistics then check out the forum post linked below. Particular congratulations must go to Commanders Fisto Sabani, Yaniv and Paul Smith III for their efforts overall in getting Colonia to this point. And finally this week Commander Sargon the Switch sends word that his squadron is leading an effort to map one of the lesser explored regions of the galaxy 
and provide an outpost in the deep black for visiting commanders to use. The Second Chances Squadron recently began mapping part of the inner Orion Perseus Conflux and with the groups second fleet carrier arriving in the region shortly they're inviting other explorers to help them in their effort to map points of interest and discoveries in the region. If you want to get involved head over to the Second Chances Discord which is linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.